Hey, Google Fiends. Um, you might have received an email from Google talking about uh, automatically enabling location extensions. And I want to talk to you about that today. So Google has been pretty bullish in terms of its uh, its automatic additions to campaigns. It's uh, enabled ad copy um, and ad extensions. Um, it'll it'll start to manage your campaigns on your behalf if you're not careful. So this is one more step towards Google's ongoing march towards um, automation. So uh, here's what the email looks like. And um, what Google's saying is we've identified a, a GMB listing, a Google My Business listing uh, that's connected to the business inside of this ads account. Now, I trust Google's ability to connect an ad account and a GMB listing. I'm not too, too worried about anybody getting the wrong listing connected to the wrong account. However, I don't trust Google's ability to understand the nuances and the granularity that goes into certain advertising mechanisms. So for instance, um, if you're only you know representing one specific location inside of your ad account, Google goes on to say that they're going to make sure um, that, uh, here we go, in addition, we will be applying location filters as needed so that only locations suitable for your ads account sync over from Google My Business. I don't buy that. I don't buy for a minute that Google's going to be able to, to, to understand the strategic approach you've taken to your specific location marketing. You might have certain locations that you want to be more aggressive with and other locations that you don't. And so um, and then, you know, the way that you've also mapped your, your radius and your overlay, Google deciding which listing is applicable. Um, I just that starts to scare me right out of the gate. Here's what's really interesting, though, is um, if this were a request or a recommendation that they then left paused and allowed you to enable it, that would be one thing. But what's really interesting is uh, they're going to take this live, as you can see here, on uh, today, the day I'm shooting this video is October 6th, and I got this email yesterday. Um, and they're going to take this live on November 9th. So they're basically giving you a month. Um, they're adding a location extension to your ads for you, connecting it to the ads based off of what location they think is most applicable. Um, and then enabling those extensions in your ads on your behalf. Uh, and they're doing all of this automatically. So if you missed this email for whatever reason, uh, let's say you have an ads manager that, you know, isn't receiving this or isn't uh, keyed in. Um, you're going to have location extensions firing right out of the gate. And there are a lot of businesses, the one that this email refers to, actually, there are a lot of businesses where location extensions really aren't that applicable. This particular organization doesn't want people to visit their, their location. Um, they do a, a, a certain type, of, a very specific type of um, recruiting, and they do it all virtually, and their location extension, or their location, excuse me, is... Um, it's not relevant to the call to action. And so if we started adding location extensions, I understand how important location extensions can be. But if we started adding location extensions to this particular campaign, um, it wouldn't be to the benefit of the advertiser. And yet here's Google forcing this change unless you intentionally go out and, um, and subvert it. And this isn't the only time they do that. Um, so you've got to be really careful. You have to be on your toes. You have to watch all the emails that come through, all the recommendations that they make because uh, Google's getting really aggressive in, I can't even call this automation really because you know automation is a set of rules that you enable and allow. This is the robots taking over. I mean, this is straight up Skynet stuff. So uh, keep your eyes on the Google notifications. Be really careful. You know, I mean, if they're, if they're adding location extension to your business then it it actually works in your favor and you don't have to go set up GMB yourself um, or make that connection. That's fine. They saved you a couple minutes. But otherwise, uh, this is, you know, this is the type of thing that I would consider to be something of, a, of an overreach. Um, if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. Give me a like if this was helpful. Uh, subscribe if you want to see me again. And I hope I'll see you next time.